Hi best friends, how are we doing? I have my heating pad on right now, so I'm extra cozy. And I have so much stuff all around me from videos I've filmed the last couple of days. I feel like my video style is changing a little bit, um, just evolving, not like changing drastically or anything, but just like kind of changing a little bit, which is kind of cool and exciting. Like it, I feel like I'm focusing more on like tingles instead of just like, okay, got to get on and do a whisper ramble. It's like, what can I do? That's like really tingly, you know? So I've been trying to do that, but, um, yeah, I have my heating pad on because my back is hurting like a son of a bee. It is hurting so bad, you guys. And I have the cutest outfit on ever like the cutest outfit of all time i have this choker from millennial magic asmr and it's just the cutest outfit of all time but i had to cover it up lord farquad looking lady here uh because i was just my back was hurting so so bad uh when i was filming like before i even started filming when i was just sitting here i was like oh my god it was so terrible um yeah it was just super fun times I remember when I was pregnant and I was like can't wait for this to go away <laughs> and here we are <laughs> so now I'm just like if it's gonna hurt anyway I might as well be pregnant right like where's the baby at that's okay baby will come in its own time um I really want to do that video with you where I am showing you or telling you rather like my action plan and all of my goals for the new year. I do want to do that, but I really want to sit down and like do it right and really think about it and give you like a real breakdown of it instead of just sitting here and being like, well guys, like this is kind of what I'm thinking. Well, maybe not. Actually, I don't like that. Well, I think what I'll do, like I, I don't want to just like talk off the top of my head. I want to really like write it down and figure it out. So yeah. I had to get new cords for my microphone because last night while I was recording, my microphone just decided like, no, no, I'm not going to work. I'm not going to work. I'm done. I'm on strike. And I was like, <laughs> okay, great. So it's been giving me some signs here and there for a while that it was like sketchy, but I don't think it's my microphone's fault. I think it was just the cords because I recorded like an hour long video here today with the new cords and it didn't go out even once so I think it's fine but I just did like a purpley trigger assortment kind of not trigger assortment but just like a rambly little thing with like some oh shoot with like some aesthetic little triggers here and there and yeah it was it was a nice video but I made a bunch of candles today and last night I did get some sleep last night but I made candles as well I made, what did I make here? Let me think. I made Saturday morning cartoons. No, you hang up first. I made up north for the weekend. Waffle cones on Wednesday. Mm, I think that might be it. I think that's what I made, but I have to make some more, of course, and I'll do that tomorrow. But I also kind of wanted to address like one thing. I didn't want to, I didn't want to address it necessarily, and I don't have to, and I know I don't by any means. <sighs> Maybe I won't say anything. I don't know. I had a little bit of a, a menti B the other day because uh, I got sent a comment, like a screenshot of a comment on my Secret Santa collaboration video where I sent ASMR Gorda, I can't say that right now, my tongue is like, it hurts because I burned it, but Gorda, okay, Gorda, ASMR Gorda's channel, and um, I, I sent gifts to her to open up, I thought they were really nice, it was a whole hop, skip, and a jump to get there. She's in Canada, and I filled out paperwork wrong. It, it was like a whole, it was a whole thing. I won't even get into it. It's nobody's business. But basically, I was just so excited for her to get her gifts. I put so much love and so much thought into it. And what I think a lot of people don't know is that with these gifts, we get a list of like what the person wants and what they like. 
and she told me that she liked sweet smelling candles she really had like this vibe of liking skulls and like punk rock but also liking pink and pastels and she just those are the only two things that matter right I got this comment on that video that seven people liked from this troll. It was clearly a troll account because they were commenting on multiple people's videos, just nastiness, right? But the seven people that liked it really got me because I was like, other people agree with this? It was like a top comment before it was deleted. And it said, don't think we missed the fact that she gave you Halloween candles, the candle and wax melts that I gave her. I gave her the candle of No You Hang Up First, which is not, even though it has ghost face on it, it's not a Halloween candle. I just restocked it today. Uh, it's a best-selling candle all year round. And it's um, a nice, sweet, candied apple scent. And it's black and pink and goth and girly at the same time. It's like perfect for her vibe. So that's why I sent her the full-size candle. And then I sent her wax melts. Um, I think I sent her three. Happy birthday, Harry, which is like a sweet birthday cake scent. Um, not Halloween. Glowing lights and snowy nights, which is frosted sugar plums and snow covered pine needles, which is a Christmas scent. And raspberry tarts with the extraterrestrials, which despite the fact that it has aliens on it, um, it is not a Halloween scent either. It is a year round scent. I made it this summer. Um, and... Yeah, they said not only that uh, I gave her Halloween candles, but that because they were from my own business, that meant that I didn't have to buy them, which means that um, like it, it just wasn't right. Like it, it, I didn't buy them, so they didn't actually count as presents and that I shouldn't have given her anything from my small business um, and that every year they see stuff like this happen and they think that they should kick me out of the group because I'm not thoughtful or they didn't say me directly but they were like I swear like every year there are people who do stuff like this and I think that you guys should kick out the ones who are not thoughtful and you should keep the people who actually give a shit what they're like gifting right and I cried so much about this you guys like I I was so upset I text or I voice memoed ASMR Gorda and I was just like trying to keep it together in the voice note and I kept having to erase and re-record because I was crying and I didn't want her to feel bad but I also wanted to just tell her like hey if you think this too which I know you don't because you're a good person <laughs> but if you also thought that like I was trying to give you give you like Halloween leftovers or, you know, anything like that, or that I wasn't being thoughtful, I wanted to tell you directly that that is not true. And I hope you know that my heart was in the right place, and that I picked those very specifically for you because they are my sweetest scents that I thought you would really like that also fit your vibe. If I wanted to give her my best-selling Christmas scent, Happy Christmas, Harry, I would have. I have it in stock. I have tons of them. Uh, I've been working really hard making candles and having tons available. So I wasn't just like, let's pick the shit I can't sell. I can sell anything, first of all. I don't need to do that. Okay? Um, now I'm just, I'm so mad. I'm, I'm mad, I'm frustrated, and I'm so sad about that. The fact that seven people liked that comment, saying that I was not thoughtful, that I shouldn't have given her anything from my small business, and that um, the stuff that I did give her was like leftovers from Halloween, basically. So yeah, not Halloween leftovers. The fact that I gave it to her from my small business, um, duh, like... That's why I have a small business is to be able to, not the only reason, but to be able to give people, you think I don't give people in my life candles for their birthday, for their anniversary, for Christmas. I give everybody candles. That's like the new go-to gift that everybody gets from me because it's from my small business. I make it with my hands. It comes from the heart. I make them in batches of five in my kitchen. They matter to me. Giving them as a gift is an honor for me to be able to do to somebody. And, um, so of course I'm going to give her something for my small business. I think it'd be weird if I didn't. 
And furthermore, what? Okay, so she likes candles. She likes fragrances, you know. What am I going to do? Go to Bath & Body Works and spend my money on candles from the competition? From the direct competition? No. I'm just not going to give her any candles then. So you're saying I should have just not given her those? And we had a we had a limit, right? And I spent that limit. I spent it. Um, plus some. And then I added the candles on top of it so she would have even more gifts to open so to say that like they didn't count because I didn't buy them means that like they don't think that I spent enough money on her gifts because my candles and wax melts don't count toward the total even if they didn't even if I didn't send those I would still have spent the amount I was supposed to spend for the secret santa Anyway, it doesn't matter. And I know that pretty much everybody in the Secret Santa group is a bigger person than me. <laughs> and they're like, just delete and block and don't address it. And I totally get that. Um, but at the same time, I have this issue where I need to be uh, right <laughs> and I need to be heard. And when people tell me that I'm doing something or that I did something that I didn't do, it really bothers me. It really, really bothers me. And I feel like I have to defend myself. And I waited a couple days and I'm sitting here still thinking about it. And I'm just like, don't feed the trolls. Don't feed the trolls. Like, don't say anything. Um, but I'm an adult and I can do what I want. And um, if I want to address it and defend myself, I'm going to. I worked really hard to put together thoughtful gifts for the person I was the secret Santa of, and I think I did a really nice job. She said she wanted cozy items. She liked cozy things, so I got her slippers. I got her socks in her favorite colors, pastels. I got her pastel everything. I got her a cup from Etsy that was a My Chemical Romance cup because that was her favorite band as a, like growing up and still to this day. And I just, I tried so hard to pick out things that I thought were thoughtful and that I thought were something that she would really like. And so the fact that one nasty troll plus seven other people who liked that comment thought that I just threw stuff together and wasn't being thoughtful and wasn't spending enough or doing enough and that I shouldn't even be in that secret Santa group because I gave her Halloween candles that weren't even Halloween candles. It just makes me so sad. So um, here I am defending myself and letting you guys know in case any of you were people who thought that that was a thing um, that's not true, and that is not what happened, and although some of my candles might give off a Halloween vibe, I only have a couple candles that are actual, like, limited edition Halloween candles. Pumpkin Pancakes with the Poltergeist only comes out at Halloween time. Uh, Halloween Town Square only comes out at Halloween time, and I Smell Children only comes out at Halloween time. Um... But other than that, like, I have goth friends. or I mean, I used to have more than just the ones that I do now, but I, I have a goth friend, guys. <laughs> and that's her vibe. Her vibe would be, no, you hang up first, or waffle cones on Wednesday, or, um, you know, the candles that are, that smell delicious, but they have, like, that dark vibe, you know? Um... So that's some people's all year round and that's why I have candles like that because that's half of my personality is the darkness and so I leave it up all year round I don't I'm over explaining it doesn't matter it literally doesn't matter um because I know my heart and that's what I'm trying to work on here is I know where I'm coming from and I know my heart and I know what I did and I know how hard I tried and how much work it was to get all of my stuff to um to her and uh yeah I know all of that to be true and I really need to work on that being okay to just know within my heart 
this isn't true. And I'm really, really needing to work on that. This is not an example of me doing that. This is me doing the opposite. But it's something I really do need to work on in my life is just being like, you know what? It's okay that you think that. I don't think you're right. But that's none of my business. And I'm going to let you think that. And I'm just going to say, okay. But... Yeah, I waited a couple days till I could get on here without crying about it. And I'm over it now. I'm used to... I guess I'm not, really. Like, that's the thing I was telling my other friend um, who was getting some criticism as well. Is I was just like, you know what? Like, um, I think it means that we're lucky that we don't get that much hate. Like... We have a very loving audience and community around us to where we don't get a whole lot of hate comments. So the couple that we did get really affected us in a weird, in a big way because we're not used to that. We're used to people being kind to us and understanding who we are and where we come from. And I think that's the worst part of all of it is that somebody looked at what I did and instead of seeing like where my heart was was and where I was coming from they automatically assumed that I was doing something that was not cool and I am the coolest and so that's just not the case I also pride myself on being a good gift giver and getting people things that I think that they would really like and so to have somebody say the opposite of that was like ooh, it just shot to my ego a little bit but that's me addressing that and um, I'll make a nice angry thumbnail or something so that people click on this video and hear where I'm coming from but yeah that's the case and that's what happened so now never to address that again can't wait <laughs> can't wait to never address that again because it's so dumb it's just so stupid but let this be the last time that I do this like if I'm trying to defend myself over something that somebody's saying Brooke did this or Brooke is doing Brooke does a lot of dumb stuff Brooke does a lot of stupid stuff Brooke screws up a lot and I am very honest about my screw-ups. Some things I don't share on here because mm -mm, personal, private life stuff, but everybody in my real life, I own up to my stuff, okay? And I used to, like in fourth and fifth grade, I used to lie a lot. And I felt like for a big portion of my life, I was trying to make up for that and be like see I'm not a liar anymore I'm not a liar anymore and like tell the truth and now I feel like I've finally at 28 years old like moved past that part of my life and like I feel as though I'm a very honest person it's really hard for me to lie to people especially people that I care about like it's one thing in sales to you know say a little white lie or exaggerate something or under exaggerate something but to like people in my real life if I'm a if I'm lying to you I'm like no you know like I can't I can't I, I just can't and I value people believing me so much that like I just can't do it like anything that would ruin my credibility in that way would just take me back to a bad place so um yeah and now we've turned this into a video of me screaming I'm honest I'm honest I'm honest and everybody going if you're really honest then you wouldn't have to say that <laughs> oh you just can't win can't freaking win with anything but that's okay everything's good I'm I'm fine my back hurts, but I'm good. Um, it might be okay, but I'm not fine at all, as Taylor Swift says. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Everything's fine. 
but just bothered, a little bothered by some stupid shit, some stupid people, but I'll be okay. Um, this coming from, coming on the tail end of that other video that I just posted where I was like, good vibes only, everything's gonna be so good, like, coming from that, this is funny, because now I'm like, everything is not all right, everything's bad, <laughs> people suck like that's just very Gemini of me and very true but this is life this is real life people and I used to be so stressed every time I would say something negative in a video or uh, address something scandalous I would be like oh I shouldn't post that I should delete that f that I'm gonna post it because this is the truth and this is what I need to get out so I can move past it the fact of the matter is, um, yeah, she liked my gifts that I gave her. I was happy that she was happy, and that is literally all that matters. All that matters. So, sorry, I keep looking over there because CJ's texting me. Um, he's working a show for me right now, and he's like, this guy was going to steal from me. <laughs> So I'm like reading, listening to the tea. So he said he was getting ready. This guy was um, turning his back and like picking up the candle and turning his back like he was going to steal. Um, and that's all I've got so far. I'll keep you updated. Just waiting. Is he going to say anything else? That's it. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, and then tomorrow, I think Rosie's doing a little dance camp thing. Um, I don't know. I have to check my texts. I was working. I was filming videos, and uh, I was getting texted about it. But, yeah, I think she's doing that tomorrow. And I'm just getting really excited about Disney World, thinking about Disney World all the time. I'm so excited to make it, like, a really fun and cool experience for my daughter and for my family. And I'm just really hopeful that everything works out the way that I hope it does or that I hope it will and how I want it to. Oh, he said, so I started breaking that table down and they left instantly. Oh, so he wasn't actually breaking it down. He was like breaking the table down and he left instantly. T. You'd be amazed how many people have tried to steal from me and probably successfully have stolen from me and I just haven't noticed. Um... But I've, like, noticed, but I haven't had evidence because I was, like, it's when I'm so busy and I'm just slammed and there are a bunch of teenagers and then they all suddenly, like, turn and walk away. I'm just, like, guaranteed they just stole something from me, but I don't, I didn't see it. I don't have any evidence, so I can't be, like, hey, stop, empty your pockets. I have had so many thieves during Halloween, you can just tell, yeah. So he used to run a Halloween store and yeah, lots of, lots of people steal. It's a thing. I can't say I've never done it. I have definitely been a thief in my day. That's for sure. But anyway, um, that is the tea. That is the drama. As for this channel being monetized, how is that going? Well, bestie, we are at, for the last 365 days, we have to be at 4,000 hours of watch time. Excuse me. Oh my God. And we are at 3,960, no, 3,960 hours of watch time. So we are literally this close. That close, bestie. We are that close. I'm so happy. I'm so grateful. You guys are really, you're really pulling out all the stops to get me to that monetization point. So I'm really happy. Thank you but I'm thinking about Disney World and just getting so excited and hoping that it works out the way that I want it to. And, um, yeah, just thinking about waking Rosie up in the middle of the night and being like, Rosie, we're going to Disney World. Like, she knows it's coming, but she has no, no concept of time. So she doesn't know when or how or whatever. She has no idea. So I just am so excited to wake her up, bags packed, outfits ready, and be like, Rosie, we're leaving. And she'll be like, right now. And I'll be like, right now. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. 
So, yeah. But anyway, I hope you're having a great day. And thank you for listening. I know you guys are all going to be like, don't feed the trolls. You don't have to defend yourself. Like, we already know. I know and I know you're probably going to, I'm probably going to get a little backlash just for even talking about this. But this is the truth. And uh, this is, you know, something I need to say to get it off my chest so that I don't have to freaking think about it anymore. Because that usually works. I just have to talk it out with somebody. And talking it out has made me realize that I am right and that everything um, that I saw from my perspective where I was like, but I swear it was good. It was good. And they were good gifts. And I am really proud of myself for doing all of that. So uh, all is good. Everything's good. And those videos turned out so well. The aud My audience is really loving it. Um, and so is everybody else's audience. They're all just like eating up those secret Santa videos. They love them. So a couple hateful comments. Who cares? Who cares? Um, because everybody else is happy with them. So that's all that matters. If you have not seen it yet, uh, this was in the video. This was in the video. And so many other wonderful items were in the video from Millennial Magic to me. So definitely go check that out. But either way, I love you guys, and I will see you again very soon. And I'll probably be monetized the next time I talk to you, and I'll freak out. I'm going to freak out. I love you. Okay, bye.